the Hospice Home in Jackson, Henry Ford Jackson Hospital, and I'm here with Garrett Dowell, who is a volunteer and uh, employee at Eaton. And I know this place is uh, very special to you. Tell me a little bit about uh, kind of what's going on today. You've you've helped lead this project up. Well, I started volunteering here about a year ago. Okay. Uh, it actually started through a kind of a challenge through church. I go to Radiant Church here in town, and they said, uh, you know, can you do something for the community? Mm -hmm. And I had done this before, like 12 years ago, been involved with hospice. So I decided to come back out here, and, uh, you know, once you start, you just love mm -hmm. doing it, yeah. being a volunteer. So You've had a, a team of uh, volunteers that have kind of worked through this grant process and uh, helped to provide some of these new uh, wonderful family rooms. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's a Eaton community involvement team, and there's, uh, I would guess, 11, 12 people involved. Um, people from the floor, people from the lab, uh, HR people. Um, and we're responsible for what they call picking organizations for the corporate funding, okay. which is the larger grants here in town. And um, I brought up the hospice and you know we pursued that and we're able to get them some funds. So Yeah, we're excited to, uh, to see the new rooms today. Tell me a little bit about volunteering here and uh, kind of what that does for you and just a little bit about volunteering here at the hospice home. Well, I remember when I first volunteered like 13 years ago, uh, it just gets in your blood. You're helping people. You really got to be very empathetic, mm -hmm. uh, very caring and willing to, you're walking alongside people in their toughest times sometimes. You've got to be willing to do that. I enjoy that and I will tell you the staff and the volunteers here the greatest. Mm -hmm. They're the greatest. They care for, you know, the clients that are here and they're, they're very courteous. So I enjoy what I do. I like to either work the front desk or get into the rooms uh, when I'm allowed and yeah. uh, hear the stories that these folks have. It's a beautiful facility. Oh. It must be a nice place to volunteer. It's beautiful here. It is. It's a very nice place. Um, like I say, uh, you got the grounds that a lot of people They'll come in and they'll have lunches on the ground. Mm -hmm. Some of the folks can go outside, so they'll do that. Uh, I just like it here. It's a good place to volunteer. And it's so important for the, the space to, uh, to be comfortable for the families. Yes, it's comfortable, accommodating. Uh, there, at the end of each hallway here is a family room where a lot of folks spend a lot of time. You see a lot of children here, grandchildren, and a lot of people spend the nights here, you know, so mm -hmm. there's room for that. Right. Thanks, Garrett. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. We're here at the Henry Ford Jackson Hospice Home. I'm with Director Carrie Johnson and Chaplain Bart Hall. And uh, exciting day today, Carrie. Uh, Eaton was here touring, and uh, they were able to make a donation that made some improvements here to the hospice home. Absolutely. Um, uh, Post-COVID, we noted um, a need for renovation of our family waiting rooms and our employee break rooms mm -hmm. and locker area. Um, and through the incredible work that the Eaton Corporation has done, um, seeking out donations from their team, mm -hmm. um, not only were we able to um, bring these spaces up to speed, but I think we've even passed the mark. And through the work of collaborating with other entities like Ronald McDonald's House, mm -hmm. we were able to gain ideas for an adult family mm -hmm. waiting room focused on um, adults um, who maybe need time for respite, of course, um, when their loved one is in hospice, but also continue their lives. All of the couches um, uh, and furniture are USB um, fitted so that work can continue, that people don't have that additional stress of being disconnected from work or family members who are not able to be here in person. Um, and then we were able to create a, a wonderful space for children. Um, it is not uncommon to have children here at the hospice right. house visiting loved ones. And um, it's a joy actually to hear them. And so for families and children, we have a space for them to roly poly all over the floor through the guidance of Ronald McDonald's house. They gave us ideas. Um, and really the most beautiful part about the children's area is that um, we often find people s sleeping, taking mm -hmm. naps, mm -hmm. and families just being families again. And and that's what we were looking for. Um, through the incredible work that Eaton has done uh, raising funds for us, our staff also needed a space of respite. So we were able to create a locker room for them and this amazing break room so that they can disconnect a little bit, refill their, their bucket, as we call it, and re-energize for the great work that they're doing. Yeah, the work is beautiful. And Bart, one thing we talked about is family gathering areas, privacy, birthday parties, simple yeah. things. Talk a little bit about what this new renovation adds and, and kind of helps you with with your job here? 
Oh, it does because we have so many opportunities when families just need a place to get away. Uh, where they're in a room and they're with family members and all of the emotion, everything happening in those rooms, just to be able to get away from that, to be able to have a moment just to rest, to relax, maybe just close your eyes and have peace and quiet. Uh, they also are like gathering places. Uh, our rooms are set up where we've had family members, 10 to 12 people in rooms. And, 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 th and that gets pretty tight sometimes. And so we've had moments where families are doing Thanksgiving meals. Christmas dinners, uh, all sorts of things where they just have a place where they can call their own for a moment. And, and it just gives them a little place at home. You know, just like think about being at home. We don't stay in one room all the time. Right. And, and it's just a great opportunity just for families to have that moment just to, I don't know if I want to use the word escape, mm -hmm. but just to have those other thoughts for a few moments. Well, it's amazing uh, what you and your team do here. And uh, thank you for having us take a look at it today. Very, very, very cool. Henry Ford at Jackson Hospital at the new hospice uh, house renovations provided by Eden Corp.